Hi everybody, this is Robin and I'm here with Evil Client and we're going to be doing a Picasso um, French and so I've started this design with white wet and wild and um, I'm going over it with one coat of Peaceful, Peacefully Me by Dazzle Dry and then when I'm done I'm actually going to do a real quick um, top coat of gel no you know what I'll just I'll just leave it as is and I will meet you back when I'm finished okay so let me zoom back a little bit and I have some jellies out and I have purple and neon orange red and neon yellow and then I have a jelly that Melissa at MDJ Creations made for me and it is the Robin Moses collection and it's called Fountain of Youth and it's a it's a teal jelly and I have one onto the side called Kaleidoscope that she made me as well. It's beautiful. So I'm going to start with yellow. And be, that's because yellow blends with both pink and um, teal at the same time. So I just want, want to put some yellows on here. Um, back, this is a little bit too light. Let me get a regular yellow polish. So I have the LA Colors yellow. And because it's going to make such a difference later, like it's better to use more pigment in the middle color. So I'm just going to go through like this and just kind of just like light, light it up here and there like that. Okay. Now with um, the pink, I will, let me, let me go back. Let me go back after this dries a bit. Meet you back. Okay. So now I'm going in with the pink. Here we go. And everywhere that it hits the the uh, yellow, it's going to be orange, and every place that it hits the um, white, it's going to just be brighter pink. So you just want to have it mixed throughout. I want to have an even amount, so just kind of think of it in how many thick areas do you want in there? One, a little bit here, a little bit here here okay so now I'm gonna go in with the purple same thing other hand the the purple is a real sheer lavender so I'm gonna put that over by the pinks hold on let me zoom in a little okay so on the pinks it's just gonna make it a little bit more layered and I'm gonna leave it out of the uh, yellow because it turns brown okay now with the uh, teal let me see real quick it's okay I, I'm making uh, evil client crazy but <laughs> it's okay because I'm trying to get it all in there in, in, a, in a fluid movement for you guys but you just do it step by step so every place that it touches that'll be more teal that isn't that pretty you guys could just totally do this, just this, and and leave it. And it's such a pretty design, especially for spring, summer. Oh, too cool. This would also be cool with um a uh, animal print over the top of it. And there's like that. After I get these all washed on like that, I'll be back. Okay, so now I have them covered with one coat of gel, and that is because it is going to like seal everything and then I can paint on top of it and it's going to be a little bit more slick but um, also it'll be fun so if you want to keep it normal and just use normal colors and start painting that would be fine but I but I am I am testing some different things and so I figured I would do it on film and just tell you guys so um, I'm going in with a little bit of black that has been dulled down with purple and I am putting in some line work. Okay. So, this. And if it's too thick, which I don't like this, then if I want to, I just take water or alcohol and wipe it off. Okay? That's that's how that's how you do it and it's just so easy. So anyways, I'm just going to line work like this. Okay. That. 
that. Ooh, pretty. That. And I'm just going to keep on just like doing little tiny lines like this. And, and that will be enough for right now. Then I'll go to another one. And just kind of just go around it. And, and if you want to just do a few with the, with the um, designs on, and then um, the rest of them just leave as is, or you can do little prints or whatever, you, you totally can. But I'm going to do the prints in bright colors. So like where it's on blue, I mean on yellow, I'll just do some blue patches of, of uh, print and it just allows me to just play with color so I'll just do that for a second and let you guys watch I have all my my paints out right here and these are all acrylic paints that you get at uh, Michaels for 50 cents to a dollar depending on you know the store and the sales and here is like if you if you're real busy I know a lot of people are talking at once and you just want to zone out this is a perfect design to do that because you can just play with colors and just zone out. It's it's like the funnest thing ever. Go to this one. Put some. Oh, and this is so pretty, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then I'll pick a place that, that just looks fun to paint on. And just put eyeball. You can do upside down noses, mouths, eyes, ears, whatever you want, even fingers with nails on them. Hmm. Anyways, I just play, okay, let, let me go in here. This one's really green and blue, so I'll make a teal here. One more blue. And go into Oops. Cool. Just like that. How fun. Okay, I'll meet you back. Okay, so I did a lot of work off camera, but I'm going to show you what I did. I left some stuff blank. So I filled in um, the eyeballs with white like this. And if you don't have brush control, just wipe it off. It's it's okay. And then pink in the lips like this. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. When they're all dry, they will look like this. <laughs> look at me all on time. It was only because uh, Evil Client had a client. I'm in a phone call, so I was like thinking of what I was gonna do. So I have now the, all of the colors with white in them. So the white will make them less uh, translucent and more opaque and then as I add the hair lines and I add the yellow here and there like this I'm blending the colors into oranges and greens see and making them all rainbow with the with the paints and shoring up the whole design so I can go in around there with the neons and it just makes them brighter and then I just touch it then I can go in with the neon pink and just touch it and it just makes it brighter because I added white first so now they're more trans they're more opaque so when I add the neons on top of it it pops them that much more so I'm going to show you again this one I'm going to do blue neon right here again just get the neon collection from folk art from uh, Walmart totally like what is it not very much 10 bucks for the whole collection of colors. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that same bright color. I want some kind of pattern there because I'm doing crazy patterns in some of the spaces. So I'll do like a, a thick dot. And then I'll add some yellow around the lips and just brighten that area with neon. Take that up and touch then na, 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 na. let me see the other hand 
Okay, I'll do some other blue. See where that this is turning blue? I would just go like this, dot, dot, dot. And that's what I'm doing is I'm just filling in and, and creating more neon in some area, less uh, structure in others, and then just putting lots of print between like this. Then I'll go in eyelashes. Oops, I slipped. Eyelashes, a dot for the eye. Then with the white, that and I'll just keep on layering that like that and I'll meet you back okay you guys now I have them top coat there's no glitter and there's no nothing this is just the design and um how cute are these for summer these will be in the hot nails playlist and in the cartoon nails playlist yeah those are both but these are perfect for summer I love them and let me get light down on them like that so you can see them. Evil Kaya, will you show them to the camera so that everyone can see them of light? Aren't they cute? They are cute. Oh my gosh, show thumbs. I Anyways, will. they're so bright and so cheerful and I'm going to throw a black light on them too so you guys can see. Like <laughs> they're how really they... cool into the black light. Do they? The, can yeah. you see them? Can you see okay, them glowing? Let me... Sorry. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Let me see really quick. I'm going to change the lighting. So, this is how they glow because I've used all, uh, all neon colors. And so, they glow in black lights. And so, like, everything that you add, you can add them with a black light. So, you can, you can layer your, your neons while you're painting. Just keep, you know, a black light on while you're painting. And then you get a feel of working with uh, glow in the dark and, and club nails. So, um, and I did that for, for a long time, and so this is with the light back on, and so I'll let uh, Evil Client just show you up close. Oh. Um, please get brushes and support my channel by going to RobinMosesNailArt.com, and that's where I sell my two brushes that I created myself for all of my tutorials, and when you copy these, please say Inspired by Robin Moses somewhere in the title of your photos and somewhere um, where other people can find me. And um, please, please just do that. It helps others find my channel and um, let them learn fun stuff. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you back with more. Bye. Bye.